underground radio station here, and we say what we feel like saying. Greetings, pod people. Charlie Cooper here of the Radio First Term Iraq Show. Do not adjust your rabbit ears. The rabbit zone you're about to enter is brought to you in high definition. Dave Rabbit Audio. Boy, am I having a flashback with this show, baby puppies. Live from a whorehouse somewhere in downtown Saigon. Cactus. And the hits just keep on coming. I mean, I got shivers. I had shivers going up and down the spine. Listen to that song, Baby Puppies, because Cactus is one of the uh, bands, the uh, many hard rock bands that I introduced, uh, including uh, a band that a couple of these guys uh, actually were involved in called uh, Vanilla Fudge uh, back in the Saigon days. And boy, you never know what you're going to find on the Podsafe Music Network, Baby Puppies. I found um, some old friends, uh, Cactus, and uh, they've got a they've got a kind of a, a new group that they've put together. Uh, uh, Jimmy Coons, uh, Jim McCartney, Tim Bogart, and of course Carmine Apiece, and of course um, uh, may he uh, rest in peace. One of the original uh, Cactus members, which was of course Rusty Day, that's no longer with us. And, uh, I, you know, I'm digging through the stuff, trying to find great bands to bring to you. And I'm going, ah, this has got to be some kind of joke. Because it's very rare that you ever find bands of uh, Cactus's quality back in when they first started out uh, uh, on the Podsafe Music Network, which, of course, is all approved in RIAA. And, uh, you know, the bands themselves put the songs there. Of course, it, it, you know, any podcaster is welcome to use any of the songs. The only thing we have to do is, is promote the Podsafe Music Network, which, of course, I do every single show. So, boy, what a real treat uh, to have the original Cactus uh, band, and and I'm telling you, they they just sound uh, really amazing, uh, even to this day. And we've got some of their new stuff 
uh, that they've put out on the Podsafe Music Network, and uh, I think you're really going to enjoy it. Now, uh, there's a couple of websites. Of course, the traditional myspace.com forward slash cactus, C-A-C-T-U-S, rocks. Or you can go to uh, their uh, their regular website, their main homepage, which is www.cactusrocks.net, N-E-T. And uh, can find out all kinds of wonderful things about them. And, I mean, we've got some great music. You're going to have a great, great time with Cactus this evening. All right, here we go. Leno, March 1st, he retakes The Tonight Show. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand. Why did they take him off in the first place if all this stuff was going to, all this drama? Of course, they didn't foresee that he was going to go south with his uh, one-hour-a-night show. And I'm sure... Uh, they didn't foresee that uh, Conan O'Brien would be going south with his ratings and, and just getting mauled by David Letterman. But, hey, $45 million to get him off the air. <laughs> hey, I would take, uh, you know, a couple hundred thousand to stay off the air. <laughs> you know, he wouldn't have to buy me for $45 million, although it would be nice. Now, I should point out that about $35 million is Conan's, and the $10 million is what Conan wanted for um, his staff. He has about a staff of 200 uh, kind of as a severance thing for them. And, and, and uh, if I understand correctly, Conan is tossing in you know a couple of million bucks himself uh, to help take care of his staff, which I think is a great gesture. Uh, I'm doing this show on Friday, the 22nd of January, and the last tonight show with Conan O'Brien is is going to be on tonight. And I guarantee you, this is one that I am not going to miss whatsoever. Uh, even though I haven't watched the last few days, uh, my son uh, Jack Jack Rabbit uh, told me that he's really been slamming NBC. So that that ought to be a lot of fun. All right, uh, continuing on with uh, a traditional hard rock band that I absolutely love bringing to the troops. Uh, this is uh, one of their newer songs. It's called Shine. 